we're trying to do post-stall landing maneuvers with Group 1 UAVs that are larger in scale um, and demonstrate that we can land at low speeds with high accuracy in position and low impact forces. There's a lot of different use cases for this. If you had a group of soldiers um, that wanted to gather information about what's over the horizon and they're in an area where there's not a, a large landing zone, they can launch these vehicles, potentially by hand, and then reacquire these vehicles by having them come and land in the vicinity where they're located. So it's not a one-time use. The other application would be able to transport medical supplies or other sort of cargo on board the aircraft. The Marine Corps Warfighting Lab uh, was using an unmanned aerial vehicle, but it didn't have uh, any undercarriage. There were no wheels for landing. It was designed uh, to land on its belly, uh, but it was also designed to only use one or two or three or four times. They were trying to land even tens of times, and as you can imagine, the aircraft uh, suffers a lot when it does a belly landing. And so the original concept was this short field landing control could take what typically is a pretty violent landing uh, and turn it into something that's much more gentle in the hopes that the aircraft uh, becomes more survivable and, and more reusable over time. So essentially what we're trying to demonstrate is that we can perform uh, landings in very short distances, similar to what multi-rotors can already perform, but with fixed wing platforms. Multi-rotor UAVs are very popular because of their high maneuverability, but the problem is the flight duration is limited. Fixed wings are much more energy efficient, um, and therefore they're much more suitable for transporting cargo. They carry larger, uh, heavier, more capable payloads in direct comparison with their rotary wing partners. And so uh, carrying cameras, uh, LIDAR, hyperspectral sensors, you name it, is probably more possible uh, on these fixed wing UAVs. The downside of a fixed wing is that um, you don't have vertical takeoff and landing capabilities, and we solve part of that problem through our uh, short field landing maneuvers. The way we're trying to approach this problem, we're taking advantage of what's called post-stall aerodynamics of the aircraft. Stalling is a phenomenon that fixed wing aircrafts uh, encounter when they exceed what's called a certain angle of attack. An angle of attack is the difference between the angle that the plane is pitched versus the angle of the oncoming airflow. Conventional aircraft tend not to exceed an angle of attack of about 15 degrees, but during our maneuvers, we get up to angles of attack of, say, 60 degrees. The aircraft flying at a fixed speed at a fixed height, um, and it's cruising at that velocity um, until it's about 50 meters from the goal point, at which point it starts to dive and aggressively descend to about five meters from the ground. And when it's at the bottom of its maneuver, it starts to pitch up to a higher angle. And in that case, it can start to bleed off some of the energy that it's had in the beginning of the maneuver. And it's able to use the air as sort of a pressure break to slow down and reduce its velocity so that it can make a gentle touchdown. What's really great about this project is that we're taking a very principled approach using first principles physics model of the aircraft and using really robust control theory to attack the problem. For future work, we're looking at how do we get away from GPS, so we're looking at putting onboard cameras to actually be able to measure the distance from the target at landing.